welcome back in, everybody. Another round of shoe and tell with Sam Wise. And it's Battle of the Brands today with some Nike, some New Balance, some 550s, some Dunk Lows. Both the exact same colorway, both true to size, both good for skating, for basketball. Both been around decades, except established 1989 in Boston and then we have the Dunk Low established 1985 a lot will argue that hey the 550 is because of the Dunk Low in Indy but it really matters did it override the Dunk Low in quality and then similar bottoms you have the circle over here on the 550 and over here on the Dunk Low so a lot of compares and contrasts, so we gotta dive in deeper with the differences and what really makes the better shoe. If it's a GR, we all know what kind of box that the Dunk Low comes in, just a typical orange Nike box. We'll go ahead and set that aside. Now, this definitely does have a much smoother logo, unlike the special logos on the 550. And they are a lot more vulnerable to wrinkling. This is the new Volume 2 of the Reverse Pandas, released in 2023. They did sit a while if you didn't get them, but now you're wanting them. Well, then you have literally no excuse because these sat, restock, sat, restock, sat, restock. Total of three times. So, you know, it was a. Uh, opportunity to hit and if you miss then you must have a horrible batting average resale is higher on dunk lows per average they sell out faster per average and it's a tighter fit than any 550s that I've ever worn and that goes for every single version of dunk lows and when you go on the inside the padding right here is a lot thinner and the overall weight of the shoe is a lot skinnier than you would find on a 550 when usually New Balance stuff like their 2002Rs, 991s, those are a lot lot thinner lightweight for running and comfortability but I definitely definitely cannot go the full eight hours or let alone a whole day just wearing these unless I had to it's not recommended because these aren't the comfiest shoes, especially when you compare them to New Balances. And like always, every time you get a new pair of Dunk Lows, you look right there at the nose. You see how lovely and smooth the leather is, but you wear it once in one day. Then immediately, you start seeing some semi-bit of wrinklage. And that doesn't happen immediately on the 550s, which is what I really, really like. And that's why they're definitely, ultimately, more long-term vulnerable to getting reckoned than the 550s are. The bottoms, I mean, same bottoms as the Air Jordan 1s. Uh, you know, they never get old. Always love seeing them, especially when they're brand new and clean. Especially. And right now, my feet are hanging free. You have Dunk Low on the right and the 550 on the left. And I definitely feel heavier weight on the 550 than the Dunk Low, so that's a no-brainer. More weight on the 550 than the Dunk Low. And the New Balance 550 Reverse Pen colorway, identical to the Dunk Low. And as I said earlier, established 1999. You can feel the basketball textured logo and leather. Much thicker padding on the inside, and way more durable. I mean, I've worn these, you know, the past six months, eight months that they've been out, released in 2022. Had no problems, barely any wrinklage, and they are far, far more durable long term, in my opinion. And then on the back, what I kind of like better about the Dunks. Their logo is sewed in right there. This is kind of engraved and then painted in, which is more vulnerable to vanishing over long term. But as I said, I've worn these many scenarios, many situations, and they're still fine, ready to roll. 
And when you put this shoe on, wear it, look at yourself in the mirror, you can definitely tell, okay, this is like still got that way old school look. There's nothing really modern to it, unless that's your certain kind of style. But the dunk clothes, they don't really have an age limit. They don't really have a certain time frame. They're always ongoing, always evolving. But these are like, you know, I'm old school. That's why I'm staying. You either like me or you don't. You can either wear me or you can't. And if you can't, well, that's on you. It's not on New Balance because this is a high quality shoe that I definitely have nothing bad to say against. And if these are definitely a lot better. If you were actually playing basketball or if you were skating. Now, I can't really say that about SBs in straight comparison. But if you're talking general releases, then I would definitely go with a 550 if I'm balling out or skating out. Even though, you know, you may look good and play good in a dunk low. But the truth can sometimes hurt for some people. Or they will strictly say, hey, you know, I look better in this, so let me wear it. But then they don't play as good as the person in the other shoes, and it's a shame. But both of these did retail, 110, so weren't too, you know, extreme with the pricing compared to most other shoes nowadays. Both were a good steal, and black and white can literally go with anything, so there's not too many negative disregards towards either pair. But if you know me by now, it's a new balance all day, baby. So we're going to go with 8.5 and a 7.5. So let me know if you're a new balance or Nike. And let me know what you think of 550s and dunks. And there's a lot more coming very, very soon of straight. Fuego on Shoe and Tell with Sam Weiss.